Hi, it's Jackie here again for uh, uh, Done It Be Gifts. I um, just thought I'd... Uh, I did promise you yesterday when I, I showed you my new heat press that um, I would show you how I'm going to use it. Now, um, I'm going to use... I'm going to make a baby's uh, a vest and um, I thought it was easy thing to start with. Um, so, uh, yeah, so let me just get uh, organised. I'll just set you here and... Um, I'll get my map and my cricket and I've done on the computer what I need to get done. So, so yeah, just watch what I'm doing. So this is a cutting mat and I've got the first colour here. It's a green and I'm just going to put it down on my mat and it, you've got to put the shiny side down. I've learnt that. Learnt that the hard way a few times. And just lining this up here, on here. And... That's that there, and now uh, I'm just going to go to my computer, and I've got things written out here in the computer to do with the cricket, so I'm just going to send that to the cricket to make. Now this may take a wee while. It's always a bit slow, and it's slower out here in in the shed with the internet. Um, and it tells you on here to um to mirror it, so you need to mirror it. Um, and I like to just kind of bring it down a wee bit um, and uh, now what I do is I take this and I shove it in into the cricket and um, press continue on the computer and just waiting for it to come up and telling me all the stuff here and I've mirrored it and um, yeah so and I've got a, a light flashing here on the cricket that's telling me that I need to press that and then this will then go into the into the, the cricket there and it's telling me to press that one so it should start cutting I'll find this way on it here first and then it'll start cutting now this is just a baby's um i'm just trying out on, a, on a, a baby's vest as it says um see what it comes up with I'll take a wee minute to to cut it out and it's mirroring it so that when i uh, heat press it down onto the baby's vest it should come out the right way I had paused it a wee bit there so it would speed it up for you. You don't want to be sitting watching this cut for hours, although it doesn't take hours. And the computer's telling me we're at 86% nearly cut. And it should be ready to finish just in a minute. Okay. Almost there. 100% ready and that's it ready and I'm going to um, press that button and it'll take it out okay so now what I need to do is take this off of here set that out the road because it's a sticky mat and now I try to see where I'm at and I'll take my scissors And I, I like to cut just, just below where the writing was, and I can just see it there. No, that's hard to see. And there it is there, and there it is up there. Okay, now that's that bit done. Now take this other tool for the cricket and I start what they call weaving. I would just say peeling back. Okay, now I've just 
managed to peel this edge back a wee bit. Okay. And you should be able to just peel away. And keep peeling. And all that you're left with is your lettering. Now, this is heat transfer vinyl and you can get um, stuff for doing on uh, just sticky, sticky stuff to go on whatever you want it to go on. Now, this is a tedious bit because you've got to weave all the bits and pieces out of it. That and that. Turn it around. No, nearly there. Now, um, I sat up my new uh, heat press. There now. And that's it there. And it says, I'm way too cute for a cuddle. So I'm just going to trim around the words a wee bit. And I'll actually do is separate this bit from there. Okay, so now I am left with these two bits separate, and I'll take you over to where my heat press is now. Um, I need to switch it on. Um, I did have it on. Um, uh, I did have it on already, but um, I noticed that. Um, Wait, I'll swing you around and I'll put you onto here. I did notice that it was actually a wee bit too hot for sitting in here for so long. So, um, yeah, so it is quite warm. So if I put it back on here, pressing this button, you can see the temperature's now down till 69. It does go up till 200. And your, that your, te your temperature can go up to 200. Um... And it does keep rising. I have noticed it does. See, it's starting to go now. Um, Make it a wee while to rise up till um, the temperature I want. And the timer is set for 15 seconds. And then you have your timer button here. Um, so I'll get my wee t shirt ready here for you. Um, this is it here. I've already given it a wee iron, but I'll give it another wee iron again. Um, when is this? It's up at 94, 95. So it's heating up, um, but yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put this on and then go away and get your stuff ready. Um, I would heat this up when you're just a bit ready to to go, because these plastic bits inside, I noticed one, um, I di and I didn't leave it for too long, but I did notice that one was was a uh, you could smell the rubber a wee bit. So and I've got. Cut my fluffy bit down and my padded bit down too. And this is a, I can't remember what size this was. Is it, um, I think a, not to three months, I think this was. Anyway, so that's that. So we're up at 50, 153, 155. And you can see that it's, temperature's climbing the whole time. So, I'll maybe just give that a pretty wee press down, just as it's heating up. Okay, that's nice now. It's up at 170, 180, and I shall put these on where I want them. I'm way too cute. Okay. I'm way too cute for a cuddle. Okay, 
And I have this as well, this Teflon bit of paper that, that down there. So, my temperature now is at 199 and my timer is on for 15. So, lift that on there. Set the timer. And we'll see how we got on. Okay, we'll take that back there, take that off. Now, if it's not stuck on properly, you can redo it. No, I, that's not hot enough, so I would say I need to do another 15 seconds. Even a price down. As far as I know, the temperature on this only goes up to the 200. I did try uh, making it go more, but it wouldn't, didn't seem to go past the 200. But you can always put the, ta the timer a bit longer. Is that going to come now? No, that's still not going to come. But I did notice somebody doing a video with this as well, and it they had to do it a couple of times. Maybe I'll um, press the timer and do it 20. I think if the, if the temperature would go higher, I think it would be better. Um, but on the whole, it's quite a heavy machine and I think we're quite happy with it. Um, the more I work with it, I suppose, the, the, the better I'll, I'll get with it. Um, so. Cool it down to the wee bitty. See what that does. Is that going to work this time? No, that's not working yet this time. This is terrible. Put a bit more weight on it. My iron was far better. <laughs> Never mind. As I say, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have to work with it and and get used to it. I'm maybe gonna have to set up the timer a bit more. I don't know. Um. Yeah. But yeah, one wife had to do it, I think, four times. And that's me done it four times as well. So, let me see now. A wee bit, eh? No. Nope, nope, nope. I wonder if I use the other stuff that I've got. This is like, oh, just kind of like wrapping. A eh, tin for, eh, no tin for. Oh, grease proof paper that you get as well for for bits and pieces for to do this as well so I'll try it with that maybe maybe that Teflon is a bit too thick so this is the fifth time I think it's, it's actually been on nearly a minute altogether now try this again and Waff it a bit to try and cool. Because I have a few orders to do, so. Let's try it now with that. No, that's not caught right. That's not caught right. This is going to have to go on again. Oh, this is not great, good. No, not go higher, I don't think. No, it only goes to 20, to 200. A bit more weight. But you are all ex eh, excited and anxious. As well, as well as me. <laughs> Never mind. We'll keep going. 
But yeah, I think it's because of the temperature. Temperature's not, it only goes up to 200. So uh, other ones that I've seen went, uh, it's 300 odd. Maybe before you buy, I would uh, to see, well, that's up to 201 now. No, back to 200. Maybe it would go higher, I don't know. Try again. No, maybe I could just let it cool a wee bit. I'm going to stop you just now and I'll come back to you. We have success this actually. Well, nearly. I thought I had. Is it going to come? Some of the words was coming off there. Oh, look there. I just have to let it cool that, cool that wee bit longer. There you go. Now this one. I think it just needs to be cooled that wee bit. And just take your time. Um, just in case you pull some of the later, you do pull some of the letters up. Um, oh, that layer and it's not coming off very good, but some of the letters. But I will go over it again, anyway. Oh. Never got the eye, the dot in the eye. That's kind of sticking. No, I'm going to have to go back over that wee bit. Pull that, turn that round that bit that way. And just till I get this side. I don't want to go further down on this. Oh, this is not good. But it's a learning curve. And... These are all getting the idea. So, right, that'll do. Um, again. Right, let me see how we get on now. Oh, I think I'm just going to have to let, let it cool a wee minute. I'll come back to you when I'm done. Now, I got it off and I'm just heating it over again. Um, I did have to take it off really quick, but if we didn't do it this, if we don't, if I don't show you it, what's happening, the wrong bits that's happening as well, well, you're not going to learn, you're not going to know. Right. And seemingly this fixes it. Okay, so, there we go. I'm way too cute to cuddle. Okay, it's maybe back to front view, I don't know, but um, yeah. Thanks for coming along again and learning my all about my new heat press and uh, it's a learning curve. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye.